So one of the most frequently asked questions I get is always on nutrition. I always get, Dan, what food should I be eating? How much protein should I be eating? Should I avoid carbs? Should I not avoid carbs? Low fat, high fat, keto, things like that. Now, I don't want to say this is the wrong question you should be asking, but it's not the first question you should be asking. This is part two of the first question you should ask. The part one of the first question you should be asking is, can I digest my food? And there's a saying, you are what you eat. Well, that's, that's kind of a lie because it's not, you're not what you, you eat. You are what you can absorb. You are what you can digest the nutrients you can uptake. I can give you the best diet plan, best workout plan, best supplements. And none of that means anything if you're not digesting your food or your supplements properly. So most people are walking around with poor digestion at best. And some people know this, and the scary thing is the majority of people aren't even aware of how poor their digestion is and how it affects them. Uh, your gut is your second brain. It affects your mood. 90% of your serotonin comes from your gut, which affects, like I said, mood, happiness. And the majority of us are, are putting things in there that we're either not able to digest or are only making our digestive issues worse. Uh, the reason why this was kind of on my mind to bring up is, you know, one, people are always kind of asking me a lot of questions on the topic. And two, just recently, as in this morning, one of my good buddies hit me up and uh, he is having digestive issues. So he kind of, he shot me a message and we've kind of been going back and forth on, on what is going on with him. And he told me, he's like, dude, I am, he's like, I wake up in the morning, I feel bloated feel fat. I feel like I just had a monster cheat meal the night before and I'm waking up and I'm feeling terrible. And, you know, this guy is an elite level athlete performer. He's got an amazing physique. He's a great athlete. And he's for the most part really dialed in, but he's just, he can't figure out kind of what is going on. So the first thing that I did was I asked him, you know, one, Have you added anything new to your diet? Supplements, food, drinks, et cetera. Then I asked him, what is, you know, we, we address that is, has there any been anything new, any fluctuations in what he's done? Um, any stress, you know, cause stress is a big factor in your gut health as well. It's a big factor in a lot of things, your ability to recover, your ability to manage your emotions, Um, stress is, is huge. And obviously right now, um, in the current state that the world is in, everybody's stress is probably a little high right now. So I thought that that was a very valid question. Um, so he didn't, you know, he didn't say, he said he had not introduced anything new. And, you know, one of my go-tos is when people are having digestive issues is to, you know, hit a fast, hit a, you know, try and hit a 20 to a 24 hour fast and see if that kind of helps. Um, but he, you know, he intermittent fast. So that's not a thing. He said he's not, hasn't changed anything. I asked him if he had been on any medicine, right? No medicine because medicine. So if you've taken medicine in the past in particularly, um, in particularly antibiotics, they will, they will just wipe, the good bacteria clean from your system and without some supplementation or fermented foods in your diets, you know, these little things you can do to increase your gut health. Um, it'll be really hard to bounce back from those things, but he said no to those. So I, I bring all of that up, you know, Oh, he would talked about supplements as well. Are you taking any supplements? Cause a lot of people, you know, we take, you know, especially if you're near the workout, community, athlete, bodybuilder, etc. We take supplements. We take pre-workouts, we take fat burners, we take this, we take that, right? Whatever the new, you know, the new miracle workout supplement is that's out there. We take it. 
he had told me he's only taken, uh, he's taking a fat burner and a pre-workout, which immediately for me, that kind of spiked my, like that's, I got suspicious of those two things, right? He said he has always been taking them and they haven't been an issue. So uh, that's something to note. But in my mind, you know, based on the information that I got in our conversation, it was just boom. Uh, those were red flags for me personally. Um, but I don't, you know, like I said, the information that I got from the conversation was good, but limited and not enough for me to kind of just be like, that's it. So uh, I would ask him, you know, and I would say this to anybody, you know, I bring all of this up to tell you, if you're having digestive issues, or you think you're having digestive issues, the best way to figure out what's bothering you, or if you're even being bothered at all, is eliminate We're going to eliminate anything processed. We're going to eliminate anything that is not whole food from the ground. Okay? We're going to get rid of drinks, anything that's not water, water, tea, coffee, um, anything that, like I said, that's processed, it's got to go. And then we're going to maintain that for two weeks, almost an elimination. I don't want to call it an elimination diet because you're still eating everything that you need to be eating, all the essentials just things that are coming from the ground. And we'll do that for two weeks. And then if you start getting back on track, start feeling better, then we're going to, you know, we'll add whatever the non-whole food products in your life. You know, say you like a protein bar, you like protein chips, whatever the, the non-whole food little supplementations that you add into your everyday diet. Or we'll add one of those back in. And we'll repeat that process of two weeks. And after that two weeks, if there's no problem, then you know that food, it you know, you guys jive well. And so that's not an issue. And then you can add something else, then a supplement or whatever. And in that process, over X amount of time, you will start being able to figure out what works best for your body. Um, another thing we could also do, and I am a big proponent of this, is probiotics. Now, do not confuse probiotics with digestive enzymes. A digestive enzyme is just that. It's a digestive enzyme. It's an enzyme that helps you break down either proteins, fats, or lipids. Or proteins, fats, or carbohydrates. Lipids and fats are the same thing. Uh, and Which aren't bad. They're good. They have their place, but they are not a probiotic. A probiotic is, uh, you know, it is a supplement that has a multitude of strands of good bacteria. And you want to take those in because they're going to help cultivate the good bacteria in your microbiome. Now that is you, not something that you need to take every day. I personally like to take it once every other day. And some people take it once every three days. One, the reason behind that, one, you get more bang for your buck. And two, most importantly, you don't need to always be flooding yourself with those good bacteria, you know? Like one day, you know, supplementation of this probiotic uh, is good for one, you know, one to two days at a time and then you implement another one, right? And that will allow you to kind of cultivate the, the good bacteria in your gut which is what you want and it's going to help you digest food better it's going to help your body produce serotonin better it's going to improve your overall mood you'll have better bowel movements that's another indicator is bowel movements regular bowel movements right that's another thing you can kind of use to figure out whether or not your digestion is on point um so these are kind of you know this is where I think most people should start on their health and wellness journey is their di their di digestion. Um, that's not to say starting somewhere else isn't good or it can't work for you. But in my opinion, with all of my experience, I believe that the first place we should all start is digestion. Be ready for the trip. Go, go, go.